everybody, Cypher Boy here, and today is the last video of the week, which is another episode of The Sims 2 for the Game Boy Advance. So I think here is where I realized that that one guy's house is right in front of mine, so we're exploring that right now. At the moment, we're looking for the briefcase for Johnny the Neck, who is the guy who was standing in front of my house. And now we're looking for, what's his name, Don something rather, I think, if I remember. <clears throat> I recorded the video last week, and I'm just now doing the voiceover, so... Oh, it doesn't tell me the name here, so... Anyway, that guy. As you can see, he doesn't seem to be very, um, what's the word? Uh, like he doesn't believe his guy can do things properly, so he sent me out to do the things the other guy was supposed to do. Or in this case, get the briefcase, even though he seems to not really care one way or another. So now the quest is to go around and find the, um, uh, pictures, I guess. And here's another difficult one to, uh, do things have conversations with. Just like Johnny the Neck was. <clears throat> Three times in a row, four times in a row. Being rejected five times. Six times. Seven, seven times being rejected for social uh, cues. Luckily, it got easier from there, as you can, you can see. I'm starving. I don't know what to do. After the video, should I brush my teeth? Because it's morning. Or should I go out and get something to eat? Decisions, decisions. I don't know. I definitely do plan on having cake. Because my fridge on the second shelf has a huge cake and it's taking up most of the space. But I have to go to the grocery store tomorrow to buy groceries of course so that needs to be taken care of today I'll probably just divide it and put it into containers and stack the containers up to make things a lot easier hmm what I thought there was Supposed to be someone in that jail cell. Maybe that's a different episode on the game. Saw another cowbell. I think here is where I go to the um, farm. No? Wait. At some point, I go to the farm and play the mini game with the cows. <coughs> Green and white. I wonder if that's making a reference to um, the Game Boy. Because this is the Nintendo DS and they're talking about old, um, 
olden days. So that could be a Game Boy reference if I am thinking uh, properly. I didn't think of that before. Anyone who's played the original Game Boy would know that um, the screen was black, white, and green, mostly green. There is um, a thing I think called the Analog Pocket where you can play Game Boy games and uh, Game Boy Advance, possibly Nintendo DS, I don't know for sure though. No, probably not though, because that one uses the touchscreen, and the analog puppet, analog pocket doesn't. But they do have. Uh, I saw videos where they have like the settings. They go through the settings, and the original Game Boy is one of the settings you can do, and it changes the screen colors and everything to, uh, play along with that, uh, console. <clears throat> a little radioactive thing cowbell those uh, recyclable things you can give to the scientist at the uh, power plant but I do not know that till after this episode so the next time I play I need to try and remember so I can turn all of those things in and here's the chop shop which in the previous video I mentioned how similar it is to the um, the herbs game on GameCube the mini game on that. As the um, conveyor belt goes faster, I start making a lot of mistakes, <clears throat> putting things in the wrong place. Don't mind my voice. I have. It seems my allergies are messing up, so that's probably why I prop might sound more nasally than normal. I always have allergy issues though. I think the game I'm thinking of in the herbs might be some kind of... I think it's the... Uh, I want to say the bike shop, the bike, bicycle shop, or whatever, motorcycle shop, I mean. I think that one has a similar game to that one, the chop shop one. <clears throat> Here we, we are giving his, I mean her, person here the paddle thing so she can run off to the um, casino if I remember she pro I think she thinks that place is boring though Here I'm uh, trying out this one for the first time, I think, as far as the play playthrough goes. You have to match three of these and get them to walk the plank or whatever. And then you have to 
discard one of them. <clears throat> And at that point, I should have known I was supposed to, um, I could have used the ghost ones on their own, but I didn't figure that out till later. If you hear a rumbling, that's my stomach. <laughs> it's... As I said, I'm starving, so it's doing its thing, making noise. Growling, I should have said. And I lost <clears throat> and barely got any money for it but I guess for a gambling game or whatever in the casino then uh, you shouldn't expect much So what else to talk about? I'm a pretty boring person in real life, as you can probably tell, but I do my best. I wonder if you put that Thing in their pocket if you could use it anywhere uh, like any buildings you're in that would help not having to um, run all the way back home Rounded up straight. Um, I was going to say strange, but he said stray. Dogs for pennies. That's a weird little job to do. Oh, 
I think the briefcase may have been just uh, busy work for Johnny. Here's another commercial, and it's a racing one, which I ended up being super horrible at, as you can see in a, in a moment. I kept running into things. Next time I think I'll try a little harder than I did this time. Maybe go slower than what I was doing before. Just to be able to get a little bit of money at least. Because I don't think I made anything here. That's not a really good way to sell things, I don't think. And that is a commercial for cars. <laughs> I got nothing. So disappointing. Mr. Fossili, that's the name. So I guess it could be Don Fossili. And then here I think I think yeah I got food and drink. I think if you pass out, it lowers your um, score for the end of the episode. And then here is where the <clears throat> sand piles are, as you can see. thing I bought the drink as well as I was there I don't know what to buy not not to buy I mean I was thinking of those slots for inventory but I was gonna say I don't know what, what I was going to play for next week I need to decide on that and record the videos this weekend. Pretty sure the desert area <clears throat> was the only place that um, I could have found that whatever he's looking for the briefcase. Oh, I already found it. Never mind. 
So here I was thinking maybe send, giving a brief haste to uh, the guy there. Yeah, I did try to fight, I mean, give it to him, but he refused for some reason. Don't know why, though, but I... The second time I went, that's when he did take it for some... I don't know why. He didn't the first time, though. Oh, I guess I should have talked to him first. And then handed it over. And the episode's about to end, so I'll leave the voiceover to say I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Bye. Here's the gods here. <laughs>